Hey everybody, what's up? Today I'm going to break down 2019 Bowman Draft. Now this is a release that's coming up in about a week and they just released the checklist. Here's everything you need to know about the upcoming release. First off, we've got the formats. Now these formats are a little bit different than you're probably used to. First off, we've got the Jumbo Box. There's 12 packs, you get 32 cards per pack, and there's 3 on-card autos. It also has 24 refractors in this particular format. And the other format is the Super Jumbo. Now these are 5 packs and you get 120 cards per pack. However, you get 5 on-card autos and 40 refractors. So this is a very popular format and it sells out quick. It's already sold out of a lot of different places. Now this release is about prospects and draft picks. So it's all prospects with a focus on the 2019 draft picks. Now how this differs from, let's say, the Bowman release. The Bowman release has about a 100 card set that features current players that are in the league. And it's usually all the stars or semi-stars. This release only has prospects and draft picks. There's a 200 card base paper set and 200 chrome cards. These are all the same cards. It just means that sometimes they're going to be base paper, which is a lower quality card stock. And sometimes you're going to get chrome cards. The chrome firsts are the highly collectible cards. So those are what you're going to want to look out for. Now these are the current prices as of 11, 27, 19. You'll notice that they're all just about the same. All these big online card sellers, they match each other's prices. And that's just the way it is. But here's what you're looking at. From Blowout, you got $259.95 for a, a Jumbo and $334.95 for a Super Jumbo. So as you can see, these boxes are very pricey compared to a normal release that's usually about $100 for a hobby box. And you'll see that Dave and Adams is $264.95 and $339.95 and then and Steel City they just go ahead and match blowouts prices so you'll see these prices fluctuate they'll go up they'll go down maybe but they'll probably just go up here's a little sneak preview and I got some of these pictures from Twitter some of them I got from the blowout forum some of the information I got is from the blowout forum and some of it I came up with myself so these are, this is a little sneak preview of what the cards are going to look like because with the press release on this particular release, they didn't include a whole lot of pictures. You just have that, that Wander picture and maybe one other. Here's another sneak preview. Some other of the cards. I really like the design of the class of 2019. Lots of color. I like color. It looks beautiful. And then as soon as you get to see it up close, you got the chrome look. It just looks great. Also back here, the Franchise Futures insert looks phenomenal. So keep an eye out for these. Autographs. The good stuff are the draft pick autos. So there's 81 of those. And these are the first autographs of these particular players. So these are some of the most highly collectible baseball cards that you can get the chrome first autographs they maintain value they hold value they can go way up in value as well as you'll see there's a these are how many autographs from the draft pick autos that you can get for each team you'll see that the diamondbacks have seven which is by far the most so you can use this list to your advantage when you're buying into team breaks there are also a couple teams that have no autographs the houston astros and the Washington Nationals. Now this is a checklist of the scout autographs. It's a small checklist, but I just wanted to put it on the screen. Anytime you want to, you can pause it and take note, or you can go to the Beckett website and there's a list of all of this. So here's the class of 2019 autos. These are numbered to 250. And there's three draft night autographs that are numbered to 99. The Franchise Futures autographs has a nice little checklist here. And as we saw before, these cards are really nice looking. Then you've got the top of the class box topper autos. There was no mention about box toppers on any of the websites that I went to to find info. 
The only way that we know that there's box toppers officially is that there's a box topper auto checklist. That'd be phenomenal to get one of these because it's all the good players and they're numbered to 35. So that's looking pretty spicy. Now the total autograph per team is broken down right here. This includes all the regular autos, the draft night autos, the, or the draft pick autos, and all the other insert autos. As you can see, the Marlins and the Diamondbacks are at the top with 13. Then you've got Padres, Orioles, Tigers, Braves with 10, Rays at 9, and then it goes down from there. So hopefully you can use this list to your advantage. Okay, now I broke down some of the top players that you should be looking out for. I broke them down by team, what pick they were in the draft, their the player's name, the position, and how they bat, whether it's righty, lefty, or switch hitter, their birthday and how old they are, and their current rank in the MLB pipeline. So this is just a, there are other players, obviously, that people are going to like and they're going to want to collect, and some of these players that I don't have on the list are probably going to end up being really good players. Now there are a lot of players that aren't on this list, but I just broke it down into some of the top picks and some of the top prospects. The people that are on the actual Bowman press sheet and press release video. And you know, I hope you can maybe just look at these guys, memorize these players, because these are the hot ones. These are the ones that people want. There are a bunch of other players, don't get me wrong, but if you've just got a few minutes to do your research and figure out what guys you're looking for when you get a box or when you get into a break, these are those players. Digest it, memorize these names, get to know these players. What do I always look for? Number one, I'm looking at how old they are. Number two, are they a righty or a lefty and are they a position player number three? And you can go down and you can look at a lot of other information for each of these guys, but you know, if you're a lefty, there's a better chance that you're going to break in. And if you're young, you've got more time to grow. You've got more years that you can put into the league. And you'll notice that a lot of these players are, are along in their career a little bit more than what you would get maybe in the Bowman release that features a lot of the international players. A lot of times the international players are younger, so they are highly touted and prospectors like those particular players because of their age okay here's a key player auto count I went through the checklist and I took those key players and punched in into a spreadsheet which autos that they have in this particular release so you can go through and you can look at the 30th anniversary auto draft pick autos the scout breakdown the class autos, draft night autos, franchise futures, variation autographs, and box topper autos. So you can just see the spreadsheet here and see why these players are some of the better ones to look out for because they have a lot of autographs in the set. And that concludes the breakdown. This is just the initial breakdown. I'm gonna go back through after the product comes out and we'll probably break it down again and I'll, I'll do a analysis and I'll do an analysis of their market prices, what they're going for, and maybe even what the breaker prices are for each team and see how that adds up. Usually the market corrects itself and makes it so that the breaker prices per team are pretty accurate as to what you want to pull and the autographs that are highly desirable and how much the autographs are going for on the open market. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put out a new video. And any players that you're looking for, make sure you let me know in the comments below. That way the whole community can talk about this and we can get our eyes opened to maybe some gems that we haven't heard of before. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later.